Hey, this is Chris. First things first, we will not be doing any business on Independence Day in honor of our country's independence and the brave men who really, against some pretty high odds, uh, decided that they wanted an independent country and they were willing to sacrifice and do what was necessary uh, to make that happen. And so, uh, yeah, in regard to in memory of them and in memory of our country and what it means, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, all those things that make America, America. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a day off and uh, not do anything special really because we just went to the just went to the mountains this past weekend. So that was our that was our vacation. So we're just going to be around the house. And, taking stock of where we are in our lives and where our country is in its life and you know, see what we can do to better both. I think that's what we'll do. Um, got a call from someone. I haven't called him back yet. I had fixed an iPad screen for them last week and they called and said their boyfriend's iPhone had gotten wet and he had tried to dry it out somehow or another. I don't even know how. She didn't really explain. And now it won't turn on. And unfortunately, the phone, I, when I call her back, I mean, this is pretty much what I'm going to tell her. It's like, you might as well just go get another phone. Because at this point, you know, if you get some, if you get a piece of electronics wet, and you don't let it, if you let it dry thoroughly, you could be okay. There's, there's always a chance that you could, there's probably about 50% chance. You know, uh, if it's in the power circuit and you if you uh, got something near or in or around the battery wet, it's probably no good. But you know, most times when people get their phone wet, it's not like they throw it in a pool or something. It's you know, it gets rained on. It, it gets some kind of incidental water infiltration. So it's not like you know you take a phone apart and the whole thing is soaking wet. It's usually just like a little, you know, a little dampness, maybe you know. Like, kind of like condensation on a window, you know. That's what it usually looks like. And so if you, if you let it sit there and dry out, maybe put it out in the sun, uh, maybe, you know, take a hair dryer. A hair dryer will not hurt a phone, even on high. I mean, I wouldn't, like, sit there with the nozzle a half an inch from the phone for 20 minutes. But, you know, hit it, hit it every hour or so until it's warm to the touch and let that... You know, it uh, helped that water vaporize a little bit and uh, come out through all the little nooks and crannies there are in the back of your phone, like these speakers. You know, even around the edge of the screen, it's not generally sealed tight. You know, out the back, you know, if you like, if you got a Samsung, you take off the back, there's the battery. All kinds of holes there in that back, uh, in that plastic mid, ca mid case. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, of course, the best thing to do is bring someone like me, let me take it apart, without turning it back on first, just bring me, let me look at it and see what I can do. I can, I can at least get it dried out completely. I mean, it does require the disassembly of the phone. You can't get around that. If you want to be sure it's dry, you have to take the phone apart. There's no way around that. <coughs> now I can dry it out. You know, I'll use a heat gun. I'll use, like I talked about, the isopropyl alcohol. I'll use that. There's all kinds of ways to get a phone dry down. Um, but that's all you can do. But, you know, once you, you know, if it's still wet on the inside and you hit the power and it shorts something out, I mean, it's not like you're going to see a puff of smoke or anything. You know, it's not like toast, it's not like shorting out your toaster in the bathtub. It's, it's, it won't give any indication that anything just fried, but those components on that motherboard are so small, and you only have to fry a few of them. I mean, there's a couple important ones. You only have to fry one. On other ones, you know, yeah, somehow it'll still work if, you know, like, if it's a capacitor or something, and it's not an important part of the circuit. You might build it. It might work without it. It might not work exactly as designed, but it might work. Uh, but, you know, if you got power and it's wet and you put that power through there, it's that electricity is not going to follow the, the path that it's supposed to. It's going to go straight to ground. It's going to overload a component. It's going to send too much voltage and or amperage through it, and it's going to burn it right up, and then, then you're done, and you can't do 
or anything else. So that's my tip for the week. If all gets wet, give us a call, 919-518-6649, or take a look at our Facebook page. That's our de facto uh, website page because we just never have gotten around to doing a website, and quite frankly, that's a lot of work, and I really don't know how to do it anyway. So Facebook's the next best thing, and we also have a YouTube page, uh, which is where I post all these videos in the first place. So, you know, if you see this on our Leacris Computers Facebook page, follow the link back, and then take a look at all the other videos that we have on YouTube. And, uh, you know, you might find some answers that you're looking for. You might get some helpful advice. Uh, or you can just give us a call, 919-518-6649. We did get a local phone number this past week. I can't remember what it is right off the top of my head, so I will do that. And I will, I will find that, and I will post that on the Facebook page, too. It's, it's a 252 number, but it is local to Oxford. So it's 252-915-something, something, something, something. Sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, I hope you have, well, we might post another video tomorrow, but we might not if we don't. Hope you have a nice 4th of July. Hope you can spend time with your family or your friends. Have some fun. And please do remember uh, the people that came before you who, who built what you were born into. I think that's just the best way I can think to put it. On that note, if you have any questions or comments, please like and subscribe. I mean, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we will see you on the next one.